misappropriation of funds, budget padding, diversion of public funds, violation of money laundering laws, have been listed as some of the major factors aiding and abetting corruption in Nigeria. The chairman of uh, the ICPC, Professor Bolaji Owasoye, urged lawmakers to change their approach in tackling corruption in the MDAs. Owasoye made this charge to lawmakers at the inauguration workshop organized by the House of Representatives Committee on Anti-Corruption in Abuja. The workshop is coming at a time when Nigeria is struggling with a hydra-headed monster called corruption. Professor Owasoye, in his keynote address, said the problem of corruption is multidimensional and as such requires a holistic approach, stating that bad government breeds corruption and insecurity. When this success in duplicating a project, you then try and use different pretentiously agencies to implant it within the budget. And when one group of oversight people are coming, you change the signboard. So today you put the name of agency A. When another oversight group is coming, it's the same location. You change it and you put the name of agency B. Fifth mechanism, using MDAs who have no capacity whatsoever. And this undermines and continues to weaken the MDAs. The Speaker, Femi Bajabia Miller, who was represented by Deputy Majority Leader of the House of Representatives, Peter Akpatterson, and Chairman House Committee on Anti-Corruption, unanimously agrees that the effect of corruption on the nation's economy cannot be overlooked. The best way to fight corruption is by designing and implementing a framework of accountability that includes laws and regulations, personnel training and meticulous oversight of administrative decisions about public resources. It also requires that in legislating the authority of departments and agency, we take measures to limit the discretionary prerogative because all corruption ultimately flows from abuse of discretion. Stakeholders also called on citizens to be committed to the fight against corruption. Earlier, the country representative of Corrent at Denua expressed the organization's readiness to partner government on fight against corruption. The consequences of corruption is multidimensional and it affects both the educated as well as the illiterate. The effects of the malaise are visible everywhere, from our various villages to all our cities. I believe that insecurity and corruption have become twin devils, troubling the peace and corporate existence of our nation. And we wish to support building your capacity to be able to draft and implement relevant legislative frameworks and to use your oversight mandate. Because military might alone, even though there are great efforts, won't stop insecurity. Let's rather be clear here. Corruption enables insecurity. The workshop is expected to hate lawmakers and making laws that will nip corruptions as it carries out oversight on ministries, department and agencies. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.